Good day and welcome to this tutorial video. Uh, this tutorial video will be looking at how to conduct panel cointegration test in Stata. Okay, uh, cointegration test is necessarily con conducted to ascertain whether a long run relationship exists in the model and the important wire series are not necessarily stationary. So, uh, that means yeah, cointegration test is needed to be conducted when you have no stationary series in your model okay and uh, in my first video i talked about stationarity test i explained when stationarity test is necessary and when it's not necessary so you can refer to my first video so today we're going to look at how to conduct station panel stationarity test and we're going to be uh it's going to be strictly menu driven and not code driven so you follow me as i go uh you come to statistics then uh, longitudinal panel data and then you come right down here you see co-integrated data you see test for co-integration you click on it okay uh first of all when you come to this interface the first thing you do is come and declare your data as panel so click on panel setting and identify your panel id variable cross id that is what i use in my data structure and click on time variable and uh, that will be your year okay and you can click on okay so by this you have declared your data as panel data and now we have uh three co-integration uh, test uh methods uh here we have the cow we have the pedroni and we have the west land so this will be for your dependent variable and this will be for your independent variables so in this tutorial i'm going to assume that my dependent variable is gdp growth and then my independent variables are um fdi i'm gonna click here fdi inflation and uh let's say exchange rates okay you could include last structure if you so wish okay we have reasons to do that then you click on ok and then here comes the result uh the null hypothesis is that there is no integration okay and uh the alternative is that all panel are coint all panels are integrated judging by the probability value here we are to reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis okay we reject the null hypothesis when our p value is less than 0 0.05 or at 0 0.05 that's that will be at five percent so in this case we establish our cointegration in the model that is using cow we can come here and look for pedroni let's let's estimate using pedroni and see the result Test for cointegration and then pedroni. Okay. For pedroni, look, modify, Philip Peron, Philip Peron, augmented the fuller. Uh, the null hypothesis is still that there is no cointegration. Why the alternative is that all panel are cointegrated. Judging by the probability value, we are to reject null hypothesis and accept our uh, uh, alternative hypothesis that. All panels are co-integrated to a long run relationship exists in the model. And let's look at the third test co-integration. Come here, um, co-integrated data test for co-integration. Let's look at West Westerland. That will click on OK. You see, for Westerland, we have the variance ratio. A p value 0 0.01 that is way less than 0 0.05 so yeah we can reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis so this is how we conduct panel stationary uh, panel cointegration test in stata but i must tell you that this feature is only available on stata 15 and stata 16 of uh, stata 15 and above so if you're using a, a stata version that is less than 15 you might not be able to access this feature uh, if you're watching this channel for the first time, please endeavor to hit this subscribe button, like, comment, and share with friends. Help promote this channel. Thank you.